So welcome to the first in a series of events uh, known informally as the Professor and Perm Sec Fireside Chats. Um, we are delighted to be starting off with the subject of how can government encourage innovation and no better place to be doing that than the Department for Business Innovation and Skills. Now today's event is part of a civil service learning offering under a new consortium led by our friends at Corn Ferry Hay Group and I'm here uh, representing the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. We have a professor from MIT and we have the biz uh, permanent secretary. So we're in good hands with today's event. Now we're going to do this in the format of a fireside chat, but I've wanted both to have an opportunity to come up um, and set out their overall approach to government and innovation. Uh, my name is Phil Budden. I was uh, a two-piece suit wearing member of Whitehall for 20 years before I took a leave of absence and I'm now based at MIT. Uh, I am a senior lecturer there on the faculty of the management school. I'm their diplomatic advisor to one of their programs, and I've just been made the faculty director for our UK civil service program. So I will be bringing over a variety of MIT professors to engage with departments around Whitehall in a variety of different areas. But I'm delighted that we're starting off with government and innovation. Now, I will introduce the professor because then I will have Martin come up and speak first. So first of all, let me introduce Professor Fiona Murray, CBE. As you will soon discover, though she's coming from the American Massachusetts Institute of Technology, she's very British. She is the associate dean there at the management school where she's the dean for innovation. She's the Porter Professor of Entrepreneurship and she's co-director of the MIT Innovation Initiative. So as I discovered when I was working in Boston, she's a Brit who really knows about innovation and entrepreneurship. So I'm delighted that we have her here today to talk to us. Um, she is also on the Prime Minister's Council of Science and Technology. Um, so is providing official advice to the British government, but today we'll be speaking in a personal capacity, sharing her insights. And secondly, we have Martin Donnelly, whom you know as your permanent secretary of BIZ. I believe we do have some people from other parts of the civil service, so just by a show of hands, who here is not from BIZ? Wow. <laughs> that is very impressive. We have Hilary Spencer, the director of civil service learning, and we did truly want to make this a pan-civil service, pan-Whitehall event, so that's very impressive. Um, Martin Donnelly uh, is also known to me. He is now Sir Martin Donnelly, KCB, so congratulations. Um, I used to work for Martin when we were both in the cabinet office and I'm delighted uh, that our pals now get to cross while I'm over at MIT. Martin, thank you very much for hosting us here in Biz in these wonderful facilities and in the first of our events we are looking at government and innovation so no better person to talk about government and innovation than Martin Donnelly, the Permanent Secretary for Biz. So please join me in welcoming Martin to the stage. Good afternoon everyone and a particularly warm welcome to those of you who aren't working for Biz or at least not yet working for Biz. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm really pleased to be here. If I were you I'd be here too because I know Fiona Murray is the most impressive person to talk about innovation in terms that make sense for those of us who have to make it a reality. And I'll lift up my hand at the start and say I have been permanent secretary here in the Department for Business, Innovation and Skills for getting on for six years. And I'm pretty clear what business is. Large, small, high-tech, low-tech, disruptive skills. We've got a lot going on, apprenticeships, higher education and so on. Innovation. If I said to you, I want to see less innovation, <laughs> or I'm not interested in innovative companies, or uh, frankly, you know, uh, innovation is a distraction from the real issue, I don't think you would agree with me. But you might think, as I do often, what exactly is this innovation? Because the trouble is, quite often it's just used as one of those big tick words. Nobody objects to innovation. We all like innovation, it's interesting. We all want to see more innovation. We've got this vague idea that innovative companies do well and you know there's always Uber and Airbnb and so on. But when it comes down to it, what does innovation mean? What does it mean for us in the public sector, whether at the heart of government, whether delivering in the wider public sector, whether engaging with the third sector, whether working as we in biz do uh, every day with businesses, but what does it mean for services? Uh, again, you know, we can all uh, have images of uh, data labs in Cambridge or 
uh, tech clusters doing video games in Dundee. But where does innovation stop and entrepreneurship begin? How do we get our arms around this slippery concept of innovation and make it work for us? And how do we stop people thinking it's just a magic wand and you only have to say, let's be more innovative and all our problems will go away? Because somehow I don't think that's how it works either. So really, for me, and uh, I hope for many, if not all of you, this afternoon is a chance to just try and dig away a bit to understand more about what we're talking about when we talk about innovation and then go on to see how we use that to be more effective in the public sector tasks we have. 